What's going on YouTube? GSN right here. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to transfer data from your iPhone to your computer or from device to device using a program called Mobile Trans, which allows you to do WhatsApp transfer or Line, Kick, WeChat and stuff like that. Phone transfer, which basically allows you to transfer everything, including the photos, videos, contacts and so on. And then I'm going to show you how to backup and restore those backups to your device from your computer. The program itself can be found on Wondershare's website, it's mobiletrans.wondershare.com and you can see here you have the one-click phone-to-phone transfer option and you can try it for free for both Windows and Mac OS. Now this supports all iOS versions that are fairly recent. You can go all the way up to 15.4 beta and it's supported or all the way down to like iOS 12 or 11 and it would still be supported as well. In fact here on their website it says it supports iOS 5 and up, iOS 15 included and for Android Android, it supports Android 2.1 and up. Android 11 supported as well. It even supports Windows Phone. So that's actually quite great. Let's see the program in action. So once you get the program, it looks like this. You have the main options available here. There are four panels. The WhatsApp transfer basically contains all the social ones, including WhatsApp, WhatsApp for business in here, and then Line, Viber, Kick, and WeChat. You would select the one that you use, and of course, you can backup and restore. Then the phone transfer is interesting as well, because this allows you to basically select a source device, in this case the iPod Touch that is currently connected, select what kind of files you want to transfer from over here, and then you can select the destination device and transfer from one device to another. But first we're going to go with a proper backup. So if you want to backup your device to your computer, it's as easy as that. You can select from over here everything that needs to be backed up. In this case this is an iPod, so it won't have call logs or stuff like that. But I'm going to select everything that can be backed up from over here. The iPod Touch is connected, this is the source device and then we press start. Of course we're going to copy everything to the computer and at this point it will start doing the backup and of course this can take a few minutes depending on how much data you have on the device and you know how big it is but it says in here that it's backing up your iPod touch please wait and do not disconnect the device. So while that is doing in the background if you have any issues with the program itself you can definitely get help from their website. Their support is actually quite helpful and you do have a lot of frequent asked questions over here and if you can't find what you need there is the help center page over here where you can basically find absolutely anything you need to know or you can of course contact them if you cannot find what you need. They even have a chat over here which is quite nice. So I'm going to leave this dude back up in the background and I'm going to be right back. So as you can see after a couple of minutes it says your iPod touch backup has completed. It didn't have a lot of information in there but yes the backup is completed and it's this file over here. You can use this file to restore it back later. So let's say I want to restore an older backup. Well nothing easier. You basically connect the device, you go here to restore store in this case and you have two options you either restore from a mobile trans backup file that backup file we saw earlier or iTunes backup file I will select the mobile trans backup file and select the one that I have and I will select everything over here and press start and that's it it's as simple as that but it says in here to transfer messages successfully please follow the steps below to turn off message syncing in settings account in iCloud and they give you exactly all the steps you need to follow here fortunately I do not use iCloud on this device so I can just press ok and at this point it's restored storing my iPod backup. It's as simple as that. You make backups very easy and of course compared to iTunes or Finder you can select exactly what you want to backup. An iTunes or Finder backup would contain basically anything. You cannot sort it. You cannot say I only want the photos or I only want the photos and the messages. Here as you could see you can select what you want and leave out of the backup what you don't want which is basically a much more granular approach to making a backup. I'm gonna leave this restore and be right back. Alright so as you can see after a couple more minutes it says your iPod touch restore completed. The device will be restarted automatically while restore the privacy data. Please do not disconnect your device and that's basically it. That's as simple as that. Next we're going to take a look at the WhatsApp transfer over here. So the WhatsApp transfer is pretty simple too. You press here and you select WhatsApp or WhatsApp for business if that's what you use and if you want to backup the conversations to your computer you know for safekeeping and other reasons and that's it. I have connected a different device now an iPhone. This one is an iPhone XS Max running iOS 15.3 because this one has WhatsApp installed. And over here you have the option to basically get everything, the messages, the group SMS, system notifications, photos, videos, documents and others. And what we're going to do is to copy it to the computer and we can even restore it later if you go over here to restore the device or transfer them to a different device if you want to, transfer them from the iPhone to Android if you connect it. But in this case I just want to back them up to the computer for safekeeping. So I'm going to press start over here and it's going to connect and then start 
backing up the data. Now I have a lot of conversations over there because it's my work application. So this can take some time. However, as you can see, it's doing it in the background, but it does say many application files detected. Backup may take some time. So at this point, we just have to wait. It says it's backing up your iPhone. So that's it. You'll leave it like that. Now, as I said, if you do not know how to use any of those features and you want to get more information, you can basically go to product user guides here on the help section and find what you need. You can see here there is the WhatsApp transfer section, phone transfer, phone to computer and so on. In this case, if you want to transfer WhatsApp between iOS and Android, you go here and that would be it. You would have tutorials and every single step. So their help guide is actually quite advanced. Now, as you can see, it's still backing up in the background. So I'm going to be right back not to make this video way too huge. This can take some time, especially since it detected a lot of files. Right. So as you can see, it says your iPhone backup has completed and you press OK and that's it. You have it in there. So that's basically it. That's how you use mobile trends. And as I said, it's available for you to try for free if you want to on the mobile trends website. So definitely check it out in the link below. Thank you for watching. I am Geosnow. Until the next time, peace out.